Uh, shout out to all the parents who don't know who we are. Who <laughs> Sorry. Hope you guys have a good time at EGLS. It's not often that we get to come over to Canada uh, ever. Uh, so it's nice to meet a lot of you. I uh, hope the first time for like, almost everyone here. It's nice yeah. to see you all. Hope you're having a good show. Uh, was anyone here? Did anyone not here yesterday? Oh, cool. okay, cool. All right. Cool. Is there anyone that you raise your hand or this is your first EGLS? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Raise your hand if you guys came to EGLS just to see us.
Yeah. Uh, so right now, I do to finish it because there's a lot to do in the game and it's very tough. But just as a rating thing, finish it does not mean bad. It means very, very good. It's like it's like an A. Complete is like an A plus. That's like that's how I see it. So. Okay, dude. I love the gameplay. It's really fun and interactive. It's quick. It changes a lot of different styles throughout the whole time. I like that. It's. Uh, I, I love the. Um, like a jerk. Just, just like the creepy you imagery throughout it. Like the. And it has butts. <laughs> I think what we 
video game thing, uh, would we want to see reenacted as like a stage performance? Yeah. I think Gerard and I have the same answer. Are you guys saying? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on this. I'm gonna say the Final Fantasy VI opera scene. from that game, and every time I hear it, I cry. It's just so beautiful and so pretty, and very Queen-inspired, very, like, Romeo and Juliet, very, like, left and right, combative and thing, and I wish I had more limited funds in the world, because I would make the most cinematic version of that, starring all of us, and it would be incredible. <laughs> The 
the South Dog N64 game. It's like a crappy game where you throw snowballs into the streets. Yeah, but I used to play the multiplayer with my brother's fire. Uh, I have two, I'll go quick. One is, it's not, no, it's not a bad game by any means, and a lot of people like it, but no one ever wants to play it with me. We Sports Resort. I would always The name just came to me now that I'm up here in front of all of you guys, but it's this SNES uh, Vegas game where you just Vegas 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 I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Super Palace. Yeah, I think so. It's like there's characters, like random things happen, but mostly you just uh, oh, like you just like walks into you, you're like yeah, yeah. well that's Vegas Vegas. Yeah, I pretty love that game. Yeah, I did too. That was like one of the games I got my mom to play, and then I realized that she had a problem. <laughs> The, the red notebook in the back row. Hey! Hello! Hello! Hi! Right, so I've asked this question to Hitbot before. What is your favorite thing about the process of making videos on YouTube? Uh, what's your favorite thing about the process of making videos? But um, I really do doing voiceovers, but I'm actually going to agree with uh, what Waleed said in the, the, the hip-hop panel. I love editing because it's when all the hard work, you, know, you wrote the script, you got the footage, you know all this stuff, you filmed the voiceover, and then it all starts to come together. And you know, you play something back, and it like ends up being the way you want it, and it's like a really good feeling. And, and that's my favorite part, just seeing it all come together in the editing. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite part of making a video is putting in three billion hours into them. Um, honestly, I think my favorite thing is, uh, I don't want to be sappy or like, oh, but you guys, I think the reception of the videos is because like, we're really... making much money with these videos to begin with. So, I think that experience and interaction is, is my favorite part of it. My favorite part are the YouTube comments. <laughs> Anytime someone's like, they're back from the dead. Finally! Oh, you still upload? Oh, I love it every single <laughs> time. <laughs> uh, now, my actual answer is, this is something I really try to do with every single one of my videos. I find it to be the most difficult part, but what I like doing the most is any game or topic I cover, is always a game that I have a personal history with, and I'm trying to like bring stories and memories to that. But I'm also trying to provide some kind of new piece of information or new perspective on the game that I don't think other people have had yet. And I feel like uh, Chrono Trigger and Sonic Adventure 2 are the best examples of that. Uh, but that's like kind of stuff I strive for, and like that, that's like my own personal challenge. I really try, and, uh, I really enjoy trying to accomplish that. I did find stuff in the thrift store. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Did everyone answer? Everyone answer? I go for it. Yeah, sure. Uh, favorite's probably the R&D part, like just sort of researching and outlining, because that's where you can find different nuggets, you kind of find like the point, like the spine of the whole video, and that all leads into like the crumb of the of all of it, which is like, oh, I hope other people connect to this. Like, I'm really interested in the conversations afterwards. Has anybody thought about this really weird thing? Is anyone else excited about it? That's all. Really I know I speak for these guys. And, it's, and I, I speak for you. And it's, and it's being with my friends, because I know they love to be around me. That's <laughs> not what I was going to say. I don't know. That's my least favorite part of it. Josh, please speak for us. Yeah, I think I, I, think I speak for all of us when I say, yeah, you know, uh, really well I'm editing, and like, one of these guys has something like super funny, and it makes me like laugh while I'm editing. If that's like priceless. 
life, and I know like we're doing a good job, but like all I ever want to do is make people laugh. So that's all I care about. Actually, I kind of changed my mind. Uh, the best part of videos is getting these guys audio back and hear them struggle with a sentence and swear by them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's What do we consider in 2018 trying to make YouTube videos now? Uh, less dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't speak, speak for everybody. You know, everybody's channel is different, so I can only speak for mine. Um, and my, my, my channel has always been, uh, you know, pretty. PG, you know, PG-13 tops, so I, I never really had trouble with, 
you know, uh, getting flagged or anything like that. But for the most part, even in the terms of algorithm and stuff, I found that the same um, the same thought process I've had the whole time is kind of slow and steady wins the race. You know, you know, develop a loyal following. You know, try to make try to do your best with each video. And that I mean, I kind of just emulated AVGN in that sense, where I knew every time he uploaded something, I wanted to see it, no matter how long it took. And uh, while that doesn't really work with YouTube's algorithm, if, if you keep up with that, and your you know your followers really want to see your stuff, they'll stick with you even if you only upload like once or twice a month. And that's what I found that works for me. So I just basically I don't change that. We uh, we're not good at the algorithm. Uh, us three are terrible at it. Uh, so we've never made videos like that. But one of the things that we've definitely tried, especially over the last couple of years, is to put kind of vibe out in the world that we want to see. So like, not be negative. Try not to be hateful or negative or anything like that. Just like, there's enough anger in video game stuff. Let's make some loving video game stuff, right? Let's let's love the things we want. It really, we all hate it. Um, but I think at the end of the day, the thing that has me most uh, concerned for 2018 is that uh, we're getting to a point where uh, everything's considered news for new releases for everything. Like Nintendo could be like, hey, uh, Mario finally turned another year, so he's now 27 instead of 26 or 25. And then you hit like 30 to 80,000. That are like, oh my god, mind blowing, Mario grew up in one year of age. Like, that's what we're all about now. And it, it just it changes the trends of how YouTube is shifting and people make that kind of content. And it's like giving everyone a chance at their version of 15 seconds of fame. And I think for me, the top of the year, I just said, you know what? I'm not gonna give into the trends that are like, you know, like the five minutes of Freddy's and you know, getting over it. Like I we have to do it sometimes, but I, I think for me the biggest thing is like actually playing games that I want to play. And I think Jerry said the last question, playing games that like I have a connection with. Because if I'm not passionate about it, if I don't like it, you guys can tell that I'm full of crap. And, and, and I don't like making that kind of video. So that's kind of been my thing is really trying to play what I want to play and share what I want to share. Pretty much talked about um, uh, a lot of what Tanya was saying, just kind of putting out like a vibe, putting out like a space in the world in any way that I can, um, with varying levels of consistency. Uh, as far as YouTube in particular, I think my outlook, and maybe a lot of people's outlook, is kind of platform diagnostic. It is no plat like no platforms out for my best interest, so there's no point throwing all my points into anything in particular, just kind of using where are people send that there. Yeah, YouTube sucks. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. 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 retention time? Yeah, It'd be way better. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for your question. Alright, let's swing back around to Josh again if he wants to pick out someone else. Uh, pillow. <laughs> So for me, our favorite live action joke or segment or thing that we've done in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's been, we've done so many things, like, we're the best. <laughs> Everything we do is hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a bit of view of them. Uh, yeah. We have a really silly gag in that where we throw a CD from across the room and it lands perfectly in the, in the CD player. And then, and then like, starts playing for some reason, even though the top doesn't go down. <laughs> really stupid. Yeah, that was a great one. I think uh, I have two that are really my favorite in recent memory. Uh, one was the entirety of Pepsi Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when we that video, the Mountain Dew was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And uh, I was really proud of how it turned out. And uh, second one is more recently, um, I don't know if everyone saw this, my South Park Stupid Truth video, where uh, I dressed up as Bob Moss. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, like, treating the painting like an 
how I swear. Yeah, it's like constantly like, with, the, with these trees and right here is really fun. I, I want to get talk about someone else's because it's probably easier. Uh, one of the one of the videos that I watched, I remember like just falling in love with instantly was Jared's Madden video. <laughs>
want to say that Jimmy just shook his head in disgust. Like, like he wasn't being treated like Kansas City or something. <laughs> Things that you guys could get, or like collectible stuff, or pins. Um, yeah. Obviously, like the convention appearances is also been really big for us. We want to do more stuff like that. Uh, we've also been doing a lot of talks and negotiations for trying to do like a tour. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're in a tour, guys. Now we're doing it. What is that? Hold on. What? Okay. All right. What is that? We do have a YouTube page for Normal Boots that uh, we've been wanting to ramp up the content for. We were actually going to launch uh, earlier last year, but um, we, and we still plan to in some capacity. But I think what happened is like real life happened. My I house exploded. Jared's house exploded. Uh, I had my thing with Greg, and so like we just had so many things happen at the same time where we were all looking at each other like we can't. We're not ready for this big move, and so we'll stick to conventions and streams in the meantime. But the idea of us as a group is that we want to be able to provide newer content in a way that's like different. Like we all do, we all do variations of our fields, right? We're all going to our, our niches and, and whatnot, but what makes us a collective interesting? And I think that is the thing that the vibe we're trying to figure out. So hopefully one day YouTube and Twitch, just normal boots, but we'll get there. We'll get there. As for new members, like uh, we know a lot of different people and like see a lot of people, and uh, I feel like we'd be like, they would probably work here, but. We're full. Because <laughs> uh, I know we like, like Chad Tronic a lot. Uh, he's kind of like honorary. Kind of, yeah. Gaming historian. I want you all. Gaming historian stories. Uh, some call me Johnny. I like a lot too. So, like, we see them too, but like, we have no plans of like, having like the other normal boots. Uh, yeah, that, that's the thing. I think that I want to be clear about like the normal boots roster. It's not that we're like, Who's good enough for the boots? <laughs> it's just like, we're all just friends. Yeah, it's like, we just want to hang out with them. Yeah, it's like, we just want to hang out with these people and then you guys say you take a test. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about that at the Normal Boots Hit Block Draft next year, Josh. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Uh, Who's up the next? The next one. Is that that game genie over there? <laughs> all right, hit me. What's your favorite game character of all time, and also what happened to you on? Uh, hold on. Two, two part, two part question. One answer. My favorite video game character, John Tron. So. <laughs> I'll just cover it. Uh, we don't talk to John Tron. We don't care, and we're completely disassociated with him. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, they're video game characters. Uh, my boy is Locke from Final Fantasy VI. He's my boy. I love Zach from Final Fantasy VII. Also good answer. He's like the most underrated hero in the franchise that everyone forgets about. Everyone's like, Cloud Sword is so cool, and I'm like. I, I 
I'm just joking. Uh, I know it's kind of lame, but uh, like being guys, because like that's my first introduction to like being a hero in games. That's my favorite thing. So like.
questions a little bit faster. I'm just going to see this now or at the end. When the panel is done, uh, we got to go. Like, there's panels after this. We have to get out. So uh, you cannot come to the table and quick ask for autographs or signatures. We can't do that because we got to clear the room. So as soon as, as, soon as the panel is over, uh, we'll try to get over at the booth or on the show floor. But uh, please do not approach us up here because we got to get out of here. Yeah, all right. and if you do approach us, you're just going to delay everyone else. So it takes yeah, more time yeah. for all you guys. And we don't want to be mean. Yeah, but like, yeah. I don't want to say no to disappoint you, but it's also time based. So yeah. please, go to the booth. Yeah. If you don't know where it is, just go to the big train, the big tank. Yeah. The tank is where you go. I might get a food first, but then I'll be over there. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's your turn? Seth, Gerard? I think it's my turn. Yeah. Gerard, right. okay. Um, let's go with Evie. Our favorite thing about getting fan art from fans when they make me look way more handsome than I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> that always feels pretty good. I know, this, this is my idealized head cannon. Thank you. <laughs> look, my muscle. <laughs> I think uh, for, like, as a more genuine answer, that it's just the fact that somebody would put that much time into like making something personalized for you. It really shows that you know it is just it's touching. Because I mean, my wife's an artist, and I know how like how much work it really is, and how much time and dedication it takes to practice and, and do stuff like that. So it's just it's the time, knowing the time they put into it is really touching. I I often forget the things we say, and then someone will like make a word about it. I'm like, oh, that was a that was a funny little thing. Cool. So it's like a little time capsule. Yeah, like when people do art of uh, very specific videos or specific games or specific moments within that video, because that is just a reflection of themselves saying, I watched this part and this particular bit within that video really resonated with me. So it's just kind of a cool validation that, you know, someone like really connected to with whatever it is we're doing or saying. The yeah, anytime we get it is great, but also when they draw me with hair is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really all of those things. It's really cool finding out a small thing that you did resonated with somebody else and then them sort of like, you know, like realizing it that way or like sort of like realizing it. Something about how you create something that makes you know. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Because that, that happens to me all the time where I like listen to an album or something and I'll make them want to like film something or whatever. So when it happens with other people, it's like cool. And you're also like, whoa, like I can do it that way. Like I mostly say garbage. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get like a little uh, I'm gonna get super sad for a second, but uh, I love when we get fan art because I get to show it to my kid, and uh, I'm like, who's that? And he's like, Daddy Paul and Josh, and it's cool because uh, someday he'll grow up and he'll be like, oh, people like my dad a lot. It's really, really cool. So I really, really appreciate that stuff. Thank you. 
suggestions? I think in general YouTube has doesn't excuse my language doesn't give a flying f about us. Yeah. Um, and no matter how much we try and unionize and get together and, and force them, they just they don't they don't care. They don't care. And so uh, if I had my way, I would definitely spend. I know in my early days of my career, I spent a lot of time mentoring smaller channels, giving advice and stuff. And I loved doing that because I saw the same passion that, that I have in them and. You're welcome, Caddy. <laughs> I love you, man. Um, but uh, nowadays, it doesn't work anymore because YouTube is trying to stop that stuff. So yeah, they want like late night shows, like they want like Jimmy Fallon and stuff like that on the front page. We try to do uh, shout outs and stuff whenever we can, either on Twitter or even here, like we saw mentioned some things earlier. There's a couple of channels I wouldn't mind just having a make an appearance on my main channel because I feel like that could help a lot too. We can mention Chad or Nor. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like uh, Bob Duncan and two a lot. Uh, for the first time, which was super cool. Uh, so like any of that, like, that's how I would just somehow like have in like an organic way like a pair of my channel. But well, one of my favorite things uh, that a YouTuber ever did that I mean, still think about constantly uh, was was Youngtown. He would do like these awesome raps at the end that would, like include viewers and other YouTubers he was watching, and I just felt like. That was such a cool and inclusive way to include the community of like knowing people. And that to me is like, I wish that that was something that still happened because you just can't do that anymore. Or if you want to go to Youngtown Road, just make a video about messaging me asking for subs. <laughs> Put that in the video and actually sending me the message and having me look at it and be like, what the heck is this? And then I go to your channel and then I see said video and I'm like, oh, this guy's cool. <laughs> Photoshopping himself with his arm around me. Screening <laughs> <laughs> that out. Remember that, Luke? Remember that, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you for the question. Alright, Shane, want to fix one real quick?
Scoot in. Scoot in.